lovelies, it's Miss Liddy Lace here with a new fabulous edition of my pin-up posing series. Today we're going to be working on posing our hands and how to make them look elegant in photos. If you haven't already seen some of my previous videos part of this series, I have so many different posing tutorials breaking down the basic pin-up poses, classic lines, arm lines, leg lines, as well as so much more. Like all the videos I share, these are just guidelines rather than strict rules. I do have my own personal preferences and pet hates, but these do not dictate pinup to you at all. You can pose however you like and make pinup whatever you want it to be. Have fun and be the best version of yourself. Hands are a very important part of photos and posing on stage. They can draw attention, create a story, as well as so much more. We can show a lot of tension in our hands though, and this can make us look nervous or tense on stage or in photos, which is something we want to avoid. One of the biggest things we want to avoid while posing is clenching our hands or stressing them out too far. These are the two common mistakes people make during their photo shoots or performances as it quite obviously looks very tense when you have your hand by your side and it clenched in a fist. To work on our hand positions, I would recommend researching some vintage photos and pin-up artwork from the 30s, 40s and 50s, as well as surrounding decades. More often than not, in these pieces, the hands are very elegant, glamorous and create an effortless look. Pretty hands are like the cherry on top of a cake, and such a simple way that we can improve our photos and performances. In my classes, I teach a position which is pretty hands, which is essentially posing our hands elegantly, whether they're on our decolletage, by our side, or in another position. There are many variations to this, but for the basic hand position, I think about having my hand off, I'm using my pointer finger to point, and my other fingers pose around this. I sort of let them gently relax and have a little bit of energy through my root finger with the middle finger. You'll want to play around with this position and see what looks best with your hands. So now we're going to work on putting our hands in different positions and how to best feature them. We'll start by popping our hands onto our hips. In this position, you can either pop them down on your hips or just below your waist are the most flattering positions. When I put my hands on my hips, I make sure I relax my joints on my wrists. As if they're up, it does look quite tense. I also want to relax my shoulders to keep that tension out. And with my fingers, I just want to make sure they're sort of evenly spaced out and not doing anything strange as this will create that look of tension. From here, we can drop a hand by our side. When we do this, I like to have my wrist joint flexed up or lightly down, making sure I'm not holding any of those tense positions that look rather strange. I like to have it flexed as that really creates that classic pin-up artwork look and I'm still engaging that pretty hand look where I'm really, really utilizing my point finger and my root finger and then the other fingers just drop down to the side. I can also take a hand up to my decolletage. In this position I'm not holding that strange position but rather just lightly fanning out my hands. I like to have a slight flex through the hand area to create a little bit more of an angle. Again, I'm making sure my fingers are evenly spaced and not doing anything strange up here. I can then raise that hand under my chin, which I think is a really cute pose. And again, I'm just utilizing the same position, just risen up a little bit higher. If I want to pose with my hands around my face, for instance, having my hands just next to my cheek, what we do want to avoid firstly is putting our hands actually onto our face. As you can see, especially if you do have quite plump cheeks, they will create indents which will really highlight in the photo. So you're better just to lightly rest them upon your cheek and I just sort of have them in a natural position so they're slightly bent and resting against the cheek area but just floating off to the side and you can play around with different poses to do with this. Personally, I avoid the pointing at cheek face. I think it's just a little bit more childish and it's harder to get the hand in the right position. I'd rather either rest it against my cheek, again not putting heaps of weight on it, so we could do our ooh face, or I'd have my fingers just slightly flexed up to create a cute shape. Hands are something we hold a lot of tension in, so in a photo shoot if you feel like you're getting too tense, just literally give your hands a shake out, give your whole body a shake out and then you'll find your hand will relax a little bit more, making the posing a little bit easier again. Posing is very much like a slow motion dance. You want to start to play around with different positions with your hands 
and just have fun experimenting, especially in a photo shoot. Not all the photos will be used, so if you take the time to just go through and change your poses in lots of different ways, you'll really highlight your best features and have the best outcome for a great photo. Really, the best way you can improve your poses is to practice, practice, practice. Practice in the mirror, practice in your selfies and practice in photo shoots. If you have the opportunity, it's really fabulous to work with photographers who specialize in pinup. Pinup posing is quite different to modern photography and they have much different lines. When you work with a pinup photographer, they'll help guide you through those classic pinup poses and achieve the result you want to. I do hope you've enjoyed today's posing tutorial. If you'd like to see more like this, do let me know in the comments below. And if there are any other videos you'd like to see, also do comment there. To further support my vintage endeavors, I do now have a Patreon page which has exclusive content, early access, as well as so much more. To follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on this vintage fun, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you all real soon.